Alright guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts and Movie and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a table using 3D Studios Max. And uh, the first thing I want to show you of course these tools. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, this is a select tool for selecting objects. So if you get a an object, you can choose it. Don't choose here. Select it. Choose this one or this one, and also this. Select by name. Box two, as you can see right here, name is box two. All right. It's gonna uh, choose this one, and if you wanna. Box one, okay. It's gonna choose this one, right? So de to delete it, just choose it and click delete. It. As simple as that. All right, that's the easy part. All right, what about this and this? We're not gonna talk about it now, but later, as soon as we uh, get there. Huh. So if you have something <coughs> like a box and you click select and move, <coughs> you can move it to the X. Y or Z, which is up and down, and we're gonna delete that again. <clears throat> so now select and rotate. This is absolutely for rotate and an object. <clears throat> so if we get a box and we're gonna rotate it, just click it. And if you want to rotate it in a Z axis, which is <clears throat> left and right, just make sure it becomes yellow on the you know Z is blue as you can see blue and make it yellow then you can woo, like that or uh, an X axis axis red see here red make it yellow and blah 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 and also Y <coughs> okay so I'm gonna delete it again oh yeah by the way maybe if uh, the first time you open up the 3ds max you can see this cube but to me it's kind of annoying so what you can do to make it disappear is go to perspective configure and view cube and uncheck this click ok and it will disappear and to the down here to the right you can see orbit is you know like the cube but with a, you can uh, make it turn off just like that. Simple as that. And if you want to focusing on the perspective side, maybe you can click this button right here, maximize viewport toggle, and it will maximize the viewport. Which one that you choose? Left, or yeah, like so. Or you can simply just do this. See. Alright, so we're gonna create a box. So in the right uh, tools, we get a create here. Make sure you click create and you're gonna click geometry, geometry, uh, so, and modify. But we're gonna create something first. Make sure it's geometry, not, not uh, shape, not lights, but geometry. And make sure it's standard primitives. Let's get a lot of things, but start primitives, and let's just create a box. So to create a box, just click and drag to create a wonderful shape of the square, and release the click, uh, release the mouse button and drag it up, and there you is a box. And to show the, you know, this little thingy, the segments, and you can see at the right here, for you can set the, ooh, like that, or like that, or like that. And the segments, so what are the segments? Well, you can see right here what's the difference. If I do this, see, it's the segments of the shape. All right, so to show the segments, you can click on this per perspective and make sure edge faces is uh, checked. All right, so if you uncheck it, it will not appear, but still appear in this top front and left view but if you want to if you want it to be appeared in the perspective view just right click and edge faces alright so this is a box so uh, we're gonna choose it select it make sure this select object is uh, selected and select and delete Ooh, what the hell is this delete alright so sphere 
of course, to create a sphere, a ball, or something like that, or maybe an earth. <laughs> but we are not going to talk about earth today, we are going to talk about table. Alright, so, that's a sphere, cylinder, to create a cylinder, of course. And torus, to create a tire donut, or something like that. And you can, again, on the right here to modify it or if you want to modify it maybe you you know editing something like that you move it and if you are a first timer maybe you will oh where's the uh, you know a, th a thing that's supposed to be right here you can go to modify make sure the object is selected and this is select and move which means uh, uh, not just select uh, sorry not just select but also you can move it Simple as that. So, if you, I, I, uh, I'm actually more comfortable to using this rather than this, because you can also move. All right. So to modify it, you click it and go to here, modify, and there you go. Get everything right here. All right. So we're gonna delay it and what? Taurus. Okay. We already create that teapot cone create a cone or a glass or something like that no cone and geosphere are most like sphere but it's you know it's from it's created by you know a little little piece of a uh, triangle instead a sphere here is from you know aha you can see all right so tube to create a tube of course and pyramid to create of course a pyramid and plane to create a floor or something like that all right so we're gonna create. all right 